What's up y'all, Riley with Smoky Mountain Overland here and today I'm wearing a very special hat because we are talking about one of our favorite companies and people in the Jeep and off-road communities. So let's get into it. Products I want to show you are these rear hardtop headliners. These are great because not only do they give you Molly storage, they also have industrial um, insulation inside of them. So they actually help with noise and temperature regulation. It's not a lot, but it is noticeable, especially in extreme temperatures. Um, speaking of extreme temperatures, uh, Invictus has an upgrade package that actually gives you um, like extremely, extremely strong Velcro with a like very strong adhesive, which in Florida where it's extremely hot or in Montana where we just came from or it's extremely cold, that stuff is a lifesaver. It can save you from having your headliners fall down. We don't use much weight on ours, but if you did, you definitely want that upgrade. Um, what we use ours for is displaying the states that Hannah and I have been to together. So we got a couple on there that we still need to get to, but it's coming along. Um, he sells, uh, Dave at, Invic at, at Invictus Off-Road sells this patch kit that we're using. He also sells these exclusively for patches. Um, I like these because it gives me the option to take the patches down and put something else up, up there, but um, if you're just going to use them for patches, it's a pretty clean look if you just get the, uh, the patch version. Next up we have these headrest covers, and uh, you can see they have cool little leather patches displaying the Invictus branding. Um, these have buckles, the original version had like cinches and the buckles are way better, so props to Dave for always improving his products. Um, we have ours, everything we have from them is in Coyote. Um, but you can get it in multicam, you can get it in a bunch of different colors and, and patterns. Um, on this side, we just keep a fire extinguisher. Don't want to be responsible for <laughs> starting a wildfire or something. And then on this side, we have a very small um, first aid kit. And I know what you're thinking, that's not going to do much. Um, that is exclusively our somebody is dying kit. <laughs> Our other kit for cuts and scrapes and boo-boos and headaches. We have that somewhere else. That's like quick lot and tourniquets and chest seals and that kind of stuff. So that is why it's so small. I recommend having um, an emergency first aid kit readily available, even if your other first aid kit is buried somewhere. Um, and know how to use it. I'm not an expert, but um, I have had people who know what they're doing teach me to the best of their ability and um, hopefully you know it'll be there if we ever need it hopefully we don't need it but carry a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher next up we have these roll bar grab handles and um don't know why i'm not getting good focus today here you go uh, these are for the rear and then we also have them in the front i'll show you these um these are fantastic they're much much better than um other grab handles that we've seen. These actually wrap all the way around the roll bar. Climb up here and show you. So you can see they wrap all the way around the roll bar and Velcro. You'll also notice that the handle is a separate piece that also wraps around the entire roll bar and weaves into the molly. So when I say that these things are incredibly strong, I mean that I could probably swing around off these if I was, uh, you know, short enough to do that. Um, one other thing that I really like about these grab handles is Dave uses these handles from mountain bikes. So they're very cushioned, they're very grippy, and they seem to be very durable. So they check all the boxes you want from a grab handle, um, and they, they, they honestly just look better, right? They're not like that cheap rubber that you see on so many grab handles that's hard and cracks and just doesn't doesn't live up to the rest of your Jeep. So I really enjoy these, I highly recommend them. Um, by far the best grab handles that we've had. Um, his previous version just hooked into the Molly. So I really appreciate that he went above and beyond and revised this to make it even stronger and more functional. Um, we had the original version. This version is way better. Um, I believe you can upgrade if you have the original version. He probably has a kit where you can uh, do this instead, and I highly recommend it. I think it's worth it. Um, or if you're buying it new, just get this version. 
So aside from really high quality products that we like, one of the primary reasons that we like to support Invictus Off-Road and Dave is because Dave is a really cool guy <laughs> making products um, in America. And when I say he's making them, I mean he's actually making them. Um, he takes a personal interest in every customer. Uh, for example, when he first debuted these headliners, um, people were putting a lot of weight in the Molly attachments and it was pulling the headliners down because the heavy duty Velcro just wasn't strong enough. So Dave actually worked with Velcro to develop a uh, adhesive that would be strong enough for these headliners. And then he made it right with every customer who had an issue. So we really appreciate somebody who is doing things themselves, doing things the right way, and takes responsibility when something doesn't go, go, <laughs> go right the first time. So if you haven't already checked out Invictus and Dave, do that. We actually have a discount code, which I'll drop a link in the bio for that and uh, grab yourself some cool American-made storage gear. Last but not least, we have the visor panels. And um, these are really nice because, you know, you can stick photos or patches or little notebooks um, up there. You also have precise cutouts if you have the uh, little garage door opener. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, he does everything with laser CNCing and uh, you can tell. The quality is just there. It's it's very precise. It he uses these little um, rubber bungees to not rubber bungees. They're like elastic to loop around there. Um, they work really well. And uh, yeah, highly recommend these. I think they add a cool little touch to the Jeep. Plus, you can do cool stuff like this. Let people know how you feel. Um, <laughs> that's not always there, but uh, the cat's out of the bag, I guess. Anyway. Um, that's all of our Invictus gear. Again, I just wanted to do a quick walk around because we use this stuff. We really like it and uh, Dave's a good friend. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. I know I'm repeating myself. So I'm just going to wrap this video up. Let's do it. So in addition to all the stuff that I showed you today, Invictus Off-Road makes a variety of other uh, product options like uh, rear seat um, covers and front headliners and they do this for Jeep JKs, JLs, JTs, as well as some other trucks, I believe. Um, and they also come in a ton of different colors, like wolf gray, ranger green, like your classic black. Um, so go check them out if you have a vehicle that is not a Gladiator or you're looking for some other options. Um, they have a ton of stuff on their website. All right, y'all. Well, I've moved to the shade to escape some of this Florida heat. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, we really like to support small American-made companies that we believe in, especially when we have a relationship with the owners and we've been friends with Dave for a couple years now. So again, check them out if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one.